uh, another child on the, he's just sleeping on the concrete. Um, the weather's already heating up, it's what, 7 a.m. and what, the temperature must be, I, I'm already sweating, it must be hitting around about 25, 30 degree already. Now he's just sleeping on the street, he's probably zonked out on some sort of uh, what they call local uh, adhesive that they use for like glue sniffing, it's called sh uh, rugby and as you can see he's just comatized there and this is what you see throughout the city area like I say there's no help, there's no accommodation for them and uh, he's just sat there sleeping there Scars. This this is their life, day in and day out. Now, if they do survive into the teenagers, the next step would probably be crime. Uh, once they once they're involved with crime, it would be prison, and it's just a continuous circle. So, just just look at these children here. I mean, over here, you can see the state. Of it. all over him. There's, uh, the mosquitoes actually carry diseases that can be spread to the children and once they catch the disease it can be very, well it is fatal, it can actually kill them. Uh, the, the downside of that is if they need hospital attention they don't get any. There's no government support or anything because there's just no funding for it and this is one of the reasons that we set up the foundation. 